Okay, beginning with a look at the skies over Saskatoon. This was earlier on Wednesday. Austin, thank you for this. Some very threatening skies. We've had wide, a wide swath under not only just severe thunderstorm watch, but a tornado watch as well. We're looking at winds gusting about 50 kilometers per hour. Hello, I'm Kim McDonald, by the way. Nicole is gone for the evening. We still have Gary momentarily. I'll go to him in just a sec. But these are the two cells that we're talking about that are warned, both of them containing very large hail in some cases as much or as big as loony, even toony sized hail. Golf ball sized hail has also been reported with these particular storms. And again, frequent lightning, heavy downpour. These are the kind of storms that you need to get indoors with. So here's another look at these strong storms moving towards the Shonovan area right now. All of these areas are under a severe thunderstorm warning. Again, a warning means it is happening or is imminent. A watch means that conditions are favorable for severe weather. So in this this orangey color, mustard color, that is the tornado watch. To the north, that is a severe thunderstorm watch. And within this, severe thunderstorm warnings. Let's go to there has noted that he sees some rotation on that one. Uh, no tornado warnings in place. There are tornado watches. Keep that in mind and only severe thunderstorm warnings. So the warnings continue. The new ones include uh, Saskatchewan Landing, Riverside is in there, uh, Lacadena as well are now under severe thunderstorm warnings and that's because this system is moving so quickly to the north and east. So these storms are starting to form on the U.S. side and then we can see them traveling straight up which is what we expected to happen with these particular storms. So that should continue to uh, go on all night long. Here's a close look at the two storms. So here's the one just south of Saska uh, Saskatoon, I should say, in Lorburn. That's where the heaviest rain is coming down right now. The big thing, too, with these storms is the size of the hail. There have been reports of loony-sized hail with these storms, golf ball-sized hail as well, and then they could go smaller, too, uh, nickel-sized hail, for example. So there's storm number two and storm number one, and both of them moving in a northeasterly direction. Remember, if you are under severe thunderstorm warning, you want to take cover. You don't want to go out in these storms, especially because of the lightning, but the, the winds can be damaging as well. So here, the big picture. Severe thunderstorm watch to the north, tornado watch to the south. All of these areas currently under a tornado watch. It does not mean you're going to see a tornado. It means that conditions are favorable. There's the possibility of one. Although, as the night goes on, it's getting less likely, but these storms are obviously severe in nature, as we know, and the potential is still there. So here we go. This is through the overnight hours. These storms are going to continue even after the sun goes down, as we're already noting, and the storms continue to move north and east. Now, here's a look at Alberta where we've seen primarily rain all day, enough rain that it's kept temperatures very cool. Calgary didn't get any better than 10 degrees all day long, and the rain continues through the foothills, and in higher elevations, you're actually seeing the snow, seeing the storm, essentially. So that is storm number one, moving north and east. Here's storm number two, blowing up, spreading out, and moving north and east as well. So they're quickly forming in the U.S., in North Dakota, and then sliding across the border into Saskatchewan. There has been golf ball-sized hail reported with this storm, especially the one just uh, south of Saskatoon, uh, recently by storm spotters. Earlier we were talking about loony-sized hail. So this is significant damaging hail for these areas. Uh, lightning has been frequent. We've been talking about that. Heavy downpours as well and damaging winds all associated with these storms. Here's a nice close-up on this particular cell as it crosses over as well. You wouldn't want to be driving in this kind of weather. Obviously, visibility would be extremely poor. So the ingredients are no longer there for tornadoes, or at least to support tornadoes. It's still looking like the watch is in. It is not in any longer. It has been dropped. But all of this area is in a severe thunderstorm watch. So if you were in a tornado watch earlier, you are now in a severe thunderstorm watch. It's not like the threat has ended completely, but it does look like the threat for tornadoes has diminished greatly. The area continues across southern Saskatchewan in the, in the stormy weather and for uh, the next day, for Thursday, we're looking at severe weather in Manitoba. And you have been no stranger to severe thunderstorms. Look at this, dust just blowing up in Brunkhild, Manitoba. What a video, my goodness, and lightning associated with that as well. So we've had stormy weather in the province already this week. Uh, we'll continue to see it as this whole system moves north and east into Manitoba. So your big day will be Thursday and even Friday. There's the threat for storms in Manitoba. Temperatures getting very, very warm. We're looking at a high of 30 in Winnipeg for Thursday and see how everything shifts a little farther to the east. So we'll be talking about you on Thursday.
And no longer any tornado watches in place in Saskatchewan. So places like Assiniboia, Moose Jaw, Shaunavon, you are now out of the tornado watch, but still continue to be in a severe thunderstorm watch. So it's going to be one of those nights, likely staying up late if you're hearing the thunder or if your dog is, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so these storms are very intense. We've heard everything from loony-sized hail to golf ball-sized hail, and that is going to do some damage, and you're certainly going to hear that as well. Uh, so here's a close-up shot of one of the storms. There are two areas that we're really watching, two storm cells, one just south of Saskatoon and this one that has just crossed the border recently. Uh, both of them, again, producing very large hail and those damaging winds, heavy downpours, and I've been hearing, too, about the frequent lightning. Of course, that's always dangerous. You don't want to be out in a storm like this. I am so happy to say that this severe thunderstorm watch has replaced all of the tornado watches, but it doesn't mean that these storms aren't severe. Obviously, in any situation, this kind of weather can be dangerous. You don't want to be outside in it. And I know people are anxious to take video, to take photos. We don't want you to do anything risky. Uh, leave it to the experts, if I can say that. Severe thunderstorm risk map is showing here. Again, we're taking the tornado risk out of it. I don't want to say that it won't happen at all but the ingredients aren't there any longer to produce tornadoes, but these storms are still very severe. So here's the system as it moves northward. It's dropping all kinds of rain, keeping temperatures cool in Alberta, at least it did for Wednesday, and then all of this progressing east into Manitoba, so you will likely be into some severe weather on Thursday. Look at this video that we received in Saskatoon, some very dark skies. Austin, thank you for this. Again, we don't want anybody taking any unnecessary risks to shoot video. If you've got great video, we want to see it, obviously. We want to show it to our viewers, uh, but we don't want anybody doing anything dangerous. Okay, let's go west, shall we? Very high elevation, the highest summits looking at the potential for up to five centimeters of snow. So Polson Pass, to Kootenai Pass, uh, Merritt, uh, these areas may see some snow through the overnight hours. I'm still talking about snow. It's almost June, right? Okay, but things are clearing out on the BC coast. In fact, high pressure will replace low pressure in the west in the long range forecast. So some good news. Our storm watch coverage continues.